And here's the truth. A lot of you Christians owe me an apology. A lot of you influencers owe me an apology because a lot of people didn't give me a fair shake. Marcus Rogers is telling all of the Christians out there that he is deserved an apology. But what is that apology specifically for? Well, in today's video, we're going to take a deeper look because Marcus Rogers recently came out with a video celebrating the Donald Trump victory in the recent presidential election. And he's making it abundantly clear that this was Marcus's time of vindication. Now, if you don't know what happened and why Marcus keeps bringing up this vindication that he's going to get from the Lord, that's because back in 2020, when Trump was going against Biden, Trump lost the presidential election by a landslide. And Marcus Rogers made it clear before that election took place that Donald Trump would win his second term. And that clearly didn't happen. And Marcus Rogers made it abundantly clear that God revealed that to him. Well, now fast forward four years later, and now Donald Trump is getting his second term as president. And Marcus Rogers is grabbing that and running with it, saying he's told us all this time and that it's his time of vindication. So with that being said, let's get into this first clip here of Marcus Rogers. What's going on, everybody? Let me know where you're watching from. <laughs> Woo! Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Oh, man, I am fired up right now. Now, I ain't going to lie to you. I cried some tears. I've been on and on for the last couple of years and definitely the last couple of days. Now, for all of the people that are going to come on here and start arguing, hold your horses. We're going to address it. We're going to pull some receipts. Let me tell you something, man. I, I was on my prayer walk the other day just bawling my eyes out. And, and as I was walking, I just felt the father telling me, son, I'm going to vindicate you. And so for the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying, uh, I, I, I've it hurt. It hurt how some people did me. It hurt how the church did me. And I'm going to show you all some stuff that I recorded that, that God was putting on my heart. We're going to pull some old tapes. So clearly, this is all about Marcus. This is all about the vindication of Marcus Rogers. Yet, he's hiding what most people are looking for. And that is a video that he deleted a week after the 2020 presidential election ended and Biden won. Now, this video makes it clear that Marcus Rogers said that the Lord revealed to him that Trump would win his second term. Nowhere did Marcus Rogers say in 2024, but in fact, Marcus Rogers was talking about the 2020 election. Hear for yourself. I just said, I, I believe from what God showed me that Trump is gonna win. And I stand on that word right now. I see a lot of people are getting quiet. And a lot of people who are really bold, they're kind of backing down off of that word. What's going on, guys? So it looks like I got to eat some humble pie today. Uh, you know, first thing I want to say is this is not on God. This is on me. And I'm going to explain that, um, you know, even though I know some people came to this video and that's why I'm going to do it a certain way, uh, just to throw stones. And regardless of what I say, you're going to throw stones. And uh, regardless of what happens, you didn't like me. And uh, you were just, you know, you're excited. You feel like this is your moment, you know. And so um, because of that, I can take it. You know what I'm saying? Throw all the stones you want. I will be all right. And I know regardless of what I say, you're going to throw them anyway. Even though, all right, a couple things. I never said that God told me, all right, that Trump was going to win a second term. I believe from what God showed me that Trump is going to win. And I stand on that word right now. And I stand on that word right now. Once again, I never said that God, I told people, hey, go look at the post, go look at all the videos. I got a post, I'll post it right here for you to see it's the closest thing that I could find uh, to what people are saying. I believe from what God showed me that Trump is going to win. And I stand on that word right now. Uh, I never said that God told me Trump was going to win the second time. 
So clearly we see that video breakdown of Marcus Rogers. We see he deleted that video and has yet to bring that video up. Not even in this clip, he, this video he uploaded celebrating Trump's victory, did he ever bring that video up. And instead of being humble, instead of repenting, instead of saying, hey, I need to be silent and stop saying God told me, God revealed this to me. This is Marcus's response. All right. Check this out. Check this out. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go! Hey! Woo! Hey! 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 God bless America! Yeah, God bless America! Hey, God bless America! Yeah, God bless America! Yeah, God bless America! Hey! Thank you, Jesus! Let's go! Yeah. Woo. Come on, somebody. Popping balloons and confetti and shouting and hooping and hollering and talking about his vindication. This is what a humble prophet looks like. No, no, this is not what a humble prophet looks like. And we're actually going to go to the scriptures in a few to see what the scriptures say about a man like this. But this is also what Marcus had to say during his celebration. People can think what they want to think, but the Lord told me clear as day, he said, this is your day of vindication. And here's the truth. A lot of you Christians owe me an apology. A lot of you influencers owe me an apology because a lot of people didn't give me a fair shake. Was I perfect? No. I'll be the first one to say that I wasn't perfect, but people pick and choose what video clips, you know, they wanted to show. So I've just never heard somebody who, who gets a word from the Lord or supposedly gets a word from the Lord and is just so about himself. This video is all about Marcus Rogers. It's not about the Lord. It's not about giving God glory. It's all about Marcus Rogers vindication. Marcus Rogers is a fool. Marcus Rogers lied in this prophecy and continues to feed this lie. Marcus Rogers is also one who does not hold to the triune God, but holds to a very modalistic God. Marcus Rogers also is one who says that all Christians need to speak in tongues, which is also not found in the scriptures. As Marcus Rogers is problematic, and he is one of the most boisterous creators on YouTube. And so what do the scriptures have to say about all of this? Well, in Ezekiel chapter 13, I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but I have some highlights here. And this is a woe to the foolish prophets. And it starts off in verse one saying, and the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, prophesy against the prophets of Israel who prophesy and say to those who prophesy out of their own heart, hear the word from the Lord. Clearly, we're seeing Marcus Rogers prophesying out of his own heart. Woe to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirit and have seen nothing. They have envisioned futility and false devation, saying, thus says the Lord, but the Lord has not sent them. Yet they hope that the word may be confirmed. This is Marcus Rogers. Because you have spoken nonsense and envisioned lies, therefore I am indeed against you, says the Lord. Because indeed, because they have seduced my people, saying peace when there is no peace, and one builds a wall and they plaster it with untempered mortal. Guys, keep reading this, but this 
is explaining this is a beautiful picture of Marcus Rogers and his foolishness. He is prophesying out of his own heart. He is following his own spirit. He is hoping that the words that he has come up with, not the Lord, would be confirmed. Th this is Marcus Rogers. And now he's taking this 2024 election won by Donald Trump, and he's using it for his gain. So guys, we, we clearly see the scriptures make it clear on this. And reading Ezekiel chapter 13 does have a telling language to it, especially when seeing Marcus Rogers doing and acting the way he is acting. Marcus Rogers, you did not hear from the Lord, and this is not your time of vindication. You have lied and manipulated and continue to live this lie, and you need to repent.